This game is not rated by the ESRB, but if it were, it would definitely be rated M. It's got a bunch of swear words and, uh, you know, blood and guts and stuff. That was quite possibly one of the, be <laughs> the best intros to a game I've ever seen. Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games every Friday to the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Um, today we're taking a look at Tormentor X Punisher, which is a fast-paced arcade style game that um, the developers contacted me for about a week or so ago, asked if I would be interested in covering it, and honestly, I like twin-stick shooters like this. I'm not particularly good at them, but I like them. But what really caught my eye was the marketing that they went with this. Like, for one, they're opening the game with that crazy cartoon, but they also created this ridiculous music video that talks about the game. It's just, it's just really, really wild. Um, so I've never played this before, and I, I'm obviously going to be a little bad, especially at the beginning, but, um... Let's see, there's controls. Uh, and I'm using a controller, because it is a twin-stick shooter. I figured that'd be a little bit, uh, easier. Move, aim, uh, right trigger for mini, uh, machine gun, and left trigger for shotgun. And there's also how to play, which could help. Press, uh, left trigger to shoot your shotgun. Hold right trigger to fire your machine gun. Shoot your shotgun to reload your machine gun. Kill enemies in creative ways to earn upgrades. Okay, bye now. So you use... <laughs> you use your shotgun to reload your machine gun. Alright, let's try it. All right, and it's it's and it's one hit. Oh my god, it's like it's really crazy, as one might suspect. But like when you shoot the shotgun, the screen shakes, and if it's disorienting for you, I promise it's disorienting for me. Like they're really going for like a a, a you know loud crazy, like, metal vibe here, and it works. Also, I'm not doing, like, terrible, terrible. I'm surviving as it is. Oh, God. Okay, now they're starting to shoot at me. Oh, God. I need to just... I think the the little evil things... Uh, we, have a, we have a boss. Priestess. Oh, God. So, I need to be careful here, because... Of a few things. For one, there's a lot of. Oh, I died. I ran into it. Murdered by the pitiful Cargore. They call me the champion! <laughs> and, it, and it shows you what killed you 12,000. Oh, man. And there's leaderboards, because of course there are. All time tormentor. <laughs> the little guy talking reminds me of a grunt from Halo. 
Alright, let's jump back in. There's also, um... You also... Oh, I died immediately. Well, that's good. Killed by the clandestine snot gluck. Demon of the year! It is me! <laughs> I'm all muscle and There's just a little demon that runs up to torment you. I am the winner! Which is so funny. They call me the champion! Alright, let's not screw that up again. So, um, there's like, for example... There's... There's different power-ups you get, like, you, um... So, like, you'll notice that whenever I do a, um... A shotgun blast and kill someone with the reflections... Not reflections. The, like, bouncing it back... Off the wall. I build up something called the Wally meter And it gives me, I think, like, temporarily invincibility. Not long, but just a little bit. Uh, whenever the developers sent over the game, they told me that there's a bunch of these meters in the game, and you have to figure out what they are. So, like, they told me about the Wally, -E, but they said there's a ton of them. And that sometimes you'll do something, and you won't exactly know, you know, exactly what it was that you accomplished. You have to figure out what you accomplished, and then try and redo it. Because if you do, you can, like, build up these meters... Crawl. You can build up these meters, and then you know, get these cool things, like this Wally meter, which apparently gives you invincibility, briefly. So the guys that just run up to you aren't really a problem, because you fire your shotgun, and then everything's fine. But the shooting is bad. You gotta keep your eye out for those, because that's bad. That's not good. Oh my god. It's really crazy. And the, once again, the thing that throws me off the most, I think, is probably the fact that whenever I shoot the shotgun, that's... You know, really shaking the screen, but it's it's a fun way. Oh, he oh he crossed the thing. Murdered by the unspeakable crawl. Twenty-nine thousand. At least I'm slightly better than an extra large Coke. Alright, I'm gonna give this one more shot. Let's get this Wally up. I just let them come to me, and I I gain my Wally meter unless a guy touches me. The curse is zit gluck. I did it! Alright, try that again. Flanker. Like, I don't know, there might be a flanker, uh, meter. I'm getting the Wally up by giving them a sec. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come get some. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, Wally meter's up. It only lasts like a second, too. Like, you get invincibility, and it's so brief. Oh my god. Oh my dear lord. Good god. Woo! I mean, I'm keeping my distance. And for the record, I'm playing, uh, obviously this is a Steam game. I'm playing with a Xbox 360 controller. Someone's gonna want to know about that. Gollum! Oh, another boss. In all of the bosses, every single... Oh, son of a gun. Every single boss in the game can be killed. Oh, he can't get to me. That's cute. Every single boss in the game can be killed in one hit. Which is another, like, little selling point of the game. Is that, uh, it may seem like it's a crazy thing, but if you watch it and look for the weakness, you can kill it in one shot. Every single enemy in the game can be killed in one shot, including you. Oh my lord. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time, and this time I'm not gonna commentate. Um, because this seems like the type of game that you need all of the concentration you can possibly get. So let's try this one more time.
Well, I did a lot better, so that's good. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you so much for watching. Tormentor X Punisher is available on Steam now. I'll put the link to uh, to the store in the description down below. If you're into these these twin-stick shooters and this looks up your alley, then let me know. Um, I like these sorts of games, but this is super fast-paced, and uh, there is no difficulty levels. Like, this is it. Like, you can either handle it or you can't. So this is going to be either enticing or horrifying to you. But uh, if nothing else, I really appreciate the, the sense of humor that the developers had. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next week for another Stephen Plays First 20.